Okay, so this is Global Scientists and Engineers program at Tokyo Institute of Technology, 24, 2024, 2025. Now, this is for, as you can see, uh, for bachelor students. It's in Tokyo Institute of Technology. Uh, it's in Japan, obviously. Uh, as you can see, this is full funding. So now, what full funding means? It's uh, is it's basically there are three different types of scholarships. One is partial funding, one is full tuition, and one is full funding. Uh, partial tuition means par sorry, partial funding means it covers less than your tuition fees. Uh, full tuition means it covers exactly your tuitions, like your tuitions are covered by this um, scholarship. And full funding means it's give you it, it's giving you um, your tuition fees, and then it will give you some. Um, additional financial aid could be stipends could be some sort of allowance could be maybe like a book allowance accommodation etc so this is full funding meaning it covers more than just the tuition fees as you can see there are no specific nationalities for this one um one thing that is like uh, restrictive about this one is just this is just for engineering so the thing is this is like this might seem like a like a negative uh, but on the other hand, it means that people who will be able to uh, apply to this scholarship will face less competition. So it's kind of a, it's a little less competitive, which is good because, as you can see, number of recipients are not that many. Uh, it's just for 18 people. And not all 18 of them are, I believe, just not all 18 of them, uh, I believe, are full funding. Some of them are just full tuition. We're going to see that in a second. Uh, as you can see, we have like an additional application that is needed for this one. And the admission deadline is August 31, 2025. Uh, sorry. Now, uh, what it covers, it covers. <clears throat> now, as you can see, we have two different awardees here. One is Maxed and one is uh, Jess. So we're going to see this one too in a second. So basically, um, this like studying at this program in this university makes you eligible for MAGST, which is a very well known government scholarship in uh, Japan. So like you can apply for this one, uh, which and like MAGST gives you a monthly stipend worth about one hundred twenty thousand Japanese yen, which is about like eight hundred eight hundred fifty dollars a month. Um, you get full tuition fee waiver. And then travel costs to and from Japan. Um, but if you get like the secondary um, award, which is like about for about 10 people, if I remember correctly, then you get um, something like it's 48,000 Japanese yen per month, which is about like 300, 350 dollars, if I remember correctly. So this is what it covers. Um, the university is a kind of a well known university, actually, uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology. Um, as you can see, like there are quite a number of scholarships in this university, not that many students. It's in Tokyo. Tokyo, of course, is one of the most expensive places you can live in the entire world right now. So keep that in mind. So like even if you get the max scholarship, that 120,000 Japanese yen per month, which is about, again, 800, $850 worth will not be enough for you to cover your entire expenses so keep that in mind it's a very expensive place and normally like living expenses are the biggest restriction to study in like financially at least to study in japan because tuition fees are not that high which we can see here so this is our page that we have for the this university we have this page for every university um every like big university as you can see, we have like here um, the admission process. You can click on any of these links to go to the university's website. Um, then we have deadlines here. This is for application to the university, by the way. And then we have, of course, uh, tuition fees. Tuition fees, as you can see, it's about like 4,000, 5,000 US dollars per, this is per year. And like to be able to live in Tokyo, you will need to have like more than a thousand dollars every month to cover your expenses so this will be kind of like one third of your monthly sorry one third of your uh, yearly living expenses this amount so again biggest financial restriction will be able to afford to um stay there so 
to live there. So um, if you want to see the where the university is and what it looks like, we can do this through Google Map. One thing that I would really highly advise you to do if you want to study in Japan. Now, um, let me show you one thing. As you can see, we have uh, in globalscholarships.com, right? We want this one great thing that we have scholarship stories by degree, by country, etc. So you can just click here to go and see all, right? For example, as you can see, these are all scholarship recipients that share their stories with our um, viewers. So, for example, these are the ones that we have uh, from Japan people who had uh, received scholarships in Japan, right? So as you can see, you can just click on any of these to go and read about their stories. Um, for example, like for Paula, like their journey, scholarship details, educational background, how did you prepare? What would you have done differently? What advice would you give to those looking to apply? Now, uh, for all of these people, you will see, like if you read them, one thing that they all say, like they wish they started uh, studying Japanese earlier, uh, because even though sometimes you don't ha need to have like high level of proficiency in Japanese, one thing that you will surely need is to like probably at least um, to like get a part time job, uh, get a maybe full time job to be able to live there, to be able to. Um, afford living there so learning japanese might be a really good idea beforehand so we have the uh, photos of the university this is what the university looks like again it's a really good university in japan um i'm pretty sure it has some nobel prize winners in its alumni there are a lot of really important people significant people notable figures uh, in its alumni so it's a really good school in japan and a lot of you do want to study in uh, Japan from what I see um, from the videos and comment section so yeah this is the school you can learn more as you can see it has more scholarships here um, you can just look at look into that to learn more about the university as you can see we have some eligibility criteria for this one eligible for the max scholarship a holder of a college student visa we're gonna see for those ones in a second um, we have application process here uh, proof of Eng English proficiency, if applicable. Evaluation sheet with recommendation. Online application form. And as you can see, the process. We have um, deadlines here. We have the bachelor's admissions page. And we have the comment section. Now, comment section is really good for people who has um, questions that are not answered in this whole thing. Because um, you can just leave your questions as a comment and Yan Lee, which is the founder of Global Scholarships, will surely answer them. Um, we can just click here to go to the official scholarship page to get even more information. Um, as you can see, this is, this is the scholarship, the Global Scientists and Engineers program. We have here enrollment, number of students admitted, there are 18. Um, so as you can see, there are 18 recipients and eight of them will receive max scholarship and the rest will be privately funded, um, international students. So what that means is that like JSO scholarship. So we have overview, type of degree, application period. Um, we had more information here. This is for like application to the, to the program. Uh, the, this is more about like um, program uh, information, like for potential applicants, um, sorry, English proficiency tests and etc. And then under here, you have program related scholarships. Now, this, these two are the ones we are talking about. One is Japanese government scholarship, MEXT. So you can open here and see. Um, so... Among those who passed examination for the G GCEP program, so like the, um, the ones that are admitted to the program, engineering program, eight outstanding applicants will be recommended for the max scholarship. So that's um, like every school has a kind of a co quota. So like uh, eight people from the students who are uh, admitted to the school will be uh, given the max scholarship. They will not be required to pay the enrollment fee. Um, you receive monthly stipend of 120,000 for four years, pretty much the same things we talked about. Um, and then we have a student, Japan Student Service Organization, 
Gesso. Um, I think that's how it's pronounced. Applicants who wish to enroll, and etc., etc. Um, under scholarship other than those offered by MEXT and do not reside in Japan may apply for this one, this scholarship. As you can see, this is just like a monthly stipend. Uh, it's about 48,000 Japanese yen. Again, should be around $300, which again will not be enough, but what, like will help you quite a bit. So hey, you can get more information here. They have videos and etc. But basically, um, 18 people will get the scholarship. Eight of them will not have to pay tuition fee, which is about like uh, 20, like 16 to 20 thousand dollars for four years in total, like here's like four point four thousand dollars per year that's the tuition fee um they will get about a eight hundred fifty dollars every month and like the travel costs and then 10 people will have um this one which is about forty eight thousand japanese yen per month so yeah that's basically it global scientists and engineers program at tokyo institute of technology